I hope you are having a, a good week. Um, it's kind of hard to believe we're only uh, a little bit uh, away from Christmas and hope this time of the year uh, you are finding that Christmas spirit, that <clears throat> hope that we have in Jesus Christ. And uh, that has been our, our uh, theme um, for uh, this Christmas season in our sermon series is the, the hope of Christ. Um, and uh, we just had a absolutely wonderful time Sunday night in um, um, celebrating, um, having a dinner, a concert, and uh, to see the, the joy um, that was uh, expressed and shared. Uh, just a real blessing. And there's truly just so much um, that can happen this time of year that draws our attention to the gifts that we have from God. And James says that every good and perfect gift comes from God. And obviously, as we celebrate Christmas, understanding this gift of this Christ child uh, who ultimately came to give us life and life abundantly is one of those gifts that, that we need to be reminded of over and over. Um, but uh, <clears throat> this past week, um, I uh, put in my blog <clears throat> a website that um, I have that's entitled uh, BeforeIsayNo.com. I have several blogs in there. And I just wrote one of the 10 of the best Christmas gifts ever. And uh, it, it just is a reminder of all that God has given to us. I can remember many years ago someone had said uh, to me or asked me, says, what, what's the benefit of being a Christian? And obviously salvation is one of them, the gift that we have from Christ, but there truly is so many other uh, blessings that we get, gifts that we receive from God. And I just list out 10 of them, none of them earth-shaking or new revelation, if you will, but reminder of all that God has so richly blessed us with. Obviously, the gift of salvation, the gift of Jesus Christ, but the peace that we have, the, the presence of God, the Holy Spirit living in us. God is a God who is with us. He's not a distant God. He knows he, the Holy Spirit is there to counsel us, to uh, to empower us, to lead us. Uh, um, the gift of whatever spiritual gift that God gives you, and we know that from 1 Corinthians, that every believer is given at least one gift, um, the gift of forgiveness, an unbelievable gift, not only that we receive from God, all the forgiveness of all of our sins, but a gift that is needed for us to give to others, to be able to forgive those who have hurt us. The gift of forgiveness is absolutely huge. Uh, obviously, we've been talking about the gift of hope, the gift of children, uh, the gift of marriage, and quite honestly, the gift of being single, if that is where you're at, the gift of relationships that we have, uh, and obviously, the gift of eternal life. And I just encourage you, if any one of those gifts or others that you see that is just not there, not feeling it. This world has hindered the gift of hope or peace or joy or love, whatever that might be. They just take some time. Just reflect on who God is. He's faithful to his promises. And it's actually reading my devotion this morning out of uh, 1 Peter. It says in chapter 1, it says, all praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Then it says, now we live with great expectation, those gifts over and over, and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. These gifts, our life in Christ, is, is priceless, but it is also secured in heaven for us right now. 
And so again, I encourage you just to think of the gifts that God has given you, continues to give you, and that you would just enjoy, appreciate, and hang on to even if this world is is, uh, at a place where it's hindering you and you don't feel those gifts at this time. Know because of who our God is, those gifts are secure as his child. Truly pray, not only will you receive those gifts, stand in those gifts, enjoy those gifts, but share those gifts this next week or two. Thanks again for joining us. God bless. 